Sometimes I can't get my shoes on and off. That's why I went outside. My wife has to help me. Yeah, I don't want to get embarrassed in here, fall over. But he come out there and help me. So I did it too. Someone doing a blessing for us, right. we deny their blessing as well. That's right. Yeah. right. You know, we need to put away our pride and, and, and shame and, and be able to humble ourselves to accept someone else's humility. Mm -hmm. I think that softens all our hearts. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, he's telling me it's a pretty mature to mind because it's very humbling for any man. And he'll let every man speak. Yeah, watch him speak. That's right. That's one bold. I thought I appreciate it. Suffer the sin. Amen. 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 Am
God's been so great to me. He's blessed me for these tragedies that people think I get. I can't even put my shirt tail in because I got no hips in the front. I put them in my arm and leg. But God has been so wonderful to me. You wouldn't believe it. Yeah. You should believe it, but it's all the truth. Amen. I'm going to say a little more. I'm going to me. 
me ask you some of some of the some folks in here that's older than I am. <coughs> is anybody in here ever taken part in a foot washing service like this? No. Nope. We'll figure a couple out. Have you seen it done at a wedding? Now I've heard older saints talk about how that this was something that's kind of a regular thing that took place at at church and stuff. I think that might be <coughs> one reason why the church over the years as a whole has kind of not like what it was. This is not my girl. When I was a little girl, uh, my grandma took me to church and mm -hmm. they had it like ever so often. I want to thank God for, for saving me first and foremost. But I, I want to thank God for bringing me to this church. Amen. Amen. I was, I was looking for somewhere to serve. And I've been in other places. But I, I, I only say, I say that I've been able to serve here. Good. And being able to be with children, with adults, and the wonderful ladies here and men. But to be able to serve with our preacher and this wonderful preacher's wife. And I know I'm, I'm double blessed because they're also my family. That I am, I am blessed Amen. because I get to serve, and I get to be my Savior's servant. Yeah. And it's very humbling when my preacher's wife, my sailor, wants to wash my feet because I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy for anything at all. <laughs> I'm not worthy to even carry the water <laughs> that my Savior washed the disciples' feet at. I'm not worthy to, to even humble myself. I mean, to the lower myself. I'm, I'm not worthy that my Lord sees fit when you bring me to an amazing church. And a family, I look around to all of y'all. And I can say, family. That's right. I know right. I don't know y'all as well as some kind of. I don't tend to be a very open person to the most part, but if you ever needed me, each and every one of you would be God bless. most humble to do anything for you guys. Amen. But first and foremost, I'm blessed to be a part of a church that loves. Truly loves. It's not just pretend love, but the true love. And that I should take care of and be a part of children and bring them out life and be molded and constructed into a warrior, a soldier that God wants me to be. And I just want to thank y'all for allowing all of this today because you know, I could have said no. And I love you and I love each and every one of you. Well, let's give a hand to the preacher.
church family. And I, we're living in this land of seeing church age. And just y'all know as well as I do, we've all been in different churches over the years, and we've seen we've seen the good, we've seen the bad, and we've seen the ugly. That's right. You know, I was on the old place, we. <laughs> we don't want bad. We don't want the ugly. We just want God's goodness. Amen. 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 I just want everybody to know I love each and every one of you. And uh, I do anything for anybody. And uh, I think that's what church is supposed to be. Especially now, more now than ever. Amen. In the time that we live in, we need our church family. We need to be close to one another, need one another. And so I just want to encourage you guys to go. This, that's how we're going to have a vibe. It's, it, it, it's, it's great to have the services where people are shouting and running aisles and don't get their own eye long for lots of services like that. But this is this is what really brings revival. Services like this. And uh, I just want the Lord to move in my life and in my immediate family and in the church family. And uh, I want the Lord to have His will and His way in, in everybody's lives. And Let's just stay humble. Keep trusting the Lord. We got a lot of different battles going on within the church. People battling cancer and other things. Y'all uh, pray for Diane. Am I okay to? Yeah. Okay. Y'all pray for Diane. Um, I was mentioned the other night about uh, she's part of our church, by the way. That's right. Yeah. Uh, That's right. She's part of our church. She's got a big decision, a huge decision to make. She's. Her teeth are beginning because of being sick. Her teeth are beginning to rot, starting to break, mm -hmm. starting to fall out. She needs to have surgery, but the doctors have pretty much said, correct, if she has the surgery to put her under, chances are pretty good she will not come out of it. If she doesn't have the surgery, then just the infection is going to set up and infection will take her out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She needs our church, needs our church family, needs each and every one of us. One, like this, like we are right now, humble and in unity with one another, praying together to the Lord for her on her, on her behalf. Because that's, that's, that's a hard decision to make. I don't know. It's easy to say you can make a decision, oh, I would do this or I would do that, but until you're in that situation, that's you right. never know. And so I ask everybody, please be praying for her. She's as much part of this church as anybody else. She's still a member of this church. She still gives to this church faithfully. And she's a blessing. She's got a wonderful testimony. And so I'd like to encourage everybody, please just pray for her. But that's what we need. We need our church close, knowing what's going on in one another's lives, so that we can pray for one another. Yes. And uh, if we're not close, then we won't know what's going on in everybody's lives. We won't know what to pray for. And that's what we need unity in the church. And the way we have unity is humility and love. Set an example of one another, just like Jesus did with the disciples there with the foot washing. To me, I'll be honest, many times I've read through the Bible, and read that passage of Scripture, I've read through it, and I'm like, well, that's a good example, and keep on going. But until Friday night, they did that with the young people. Man. And really seeing that for myself, <laughs> it really said something to me. And so I felt like that's what we would have us do here this morning. I'll say this. Y'all would have been impressed with our young people. Yeah. Because when it first started, first started talking about, of course, they're young people. They're giggling, laughing, and, you know, joking around just like we were. And, uh, but when it come time to actually do it, nobody said a word. Nobody rejected. Nobody's fussed and said, I don't want to do this. Matter of fact, I think all of them liked it a little too much. <laughs> but they did. And you know, like I said, we, we were taking them all home. Wanda was taking the ones home on the on the Dallas side of, of, of the route for, of our youth. And uh, when she asked them what was their favorite part of the lock-in, now y'all got to keep in mind the lock-in, they roasted hot dogs, and made, marsh, uh, made, made s'mores, they shot basketball, they played all kinds of different games, they watched they watched a Christian movie, went back out at 1 o'clock in the morning uh, with the bonfire, roasted more hot dogs and made more s'mores, and stayed up 2 o'clock laughing and cutting up and playing. It was just taking them home. She asked him what was her favorite part of it. There was one that didn't really say anything. He really doesn't say much of anything anyway. Had one, of course, say they enjoyed the hot dogs and the s'mores. But the rest of them said they enjoyed the foot washing. And I, I, I seen it seen it sitting in there, a closeness that came with our young people. And I, that, that's exciting. And 
I remember when I was a teenager, in the youth group that I was in, and the closeness that was there, while was, that closeness was there, it was unreal what the Lord was doing with that youth group. It excites me of what the Lord's going to do with our young people. But seeing us here this morning, it excites me of what God can do here in our church. If we stay humble, put Him first, and put one another ahead of ourselves, if we do that, there's no limit to what God can do. And I believe we can see real revival. And, uh, so I just want y'all to know I love y'all. I'm praying for each and every one of them. And uh, I want you to know, no matter what, whatever you, if you need, anything, you can call me, and I'll be there. I'll be praying. Sell the same way. I tell you, I, I'm very thankful for my wife. Amen. And, I, Amen. I say this, and I know some people say, well, that's because it's your wife. No. That's fine. People can think what they want. But I think we've got the greatest preacher's wife. Right? Amen. Yeah. Amen. All of her life. She does, she, does more, <coughs> she does more than the typical preacher's wife. Yeah. And, uh, and I love her, and I'm so thankful the Lord put us together. And uh, what, she loves me and takes care of me and, and, and kids. But the way that she loves the church and serves in the church. And when I asked her, would you do this? She just said, no, I wasn't going to push her. Well, that's asking a lot. As soon as I asked her, she said, yeah, I'll do it. No problem. Amen. She was glad to do it. And that, that speaks volumes for our preacher's wife. Amen. So I just want to say the Lord has really blessed us with the best. Bless Amen. And blessed our church with the best. Amen. So I just ask y'all, please, if y'all would just continue to pray for, pray for us. And pray for y'all. Let's just be in this thing together. Amen. Amen. All hearts and minds clear this morning. Amen. Amen. Let's pray and we'll be dismissed. Nice. We're praying for dying. Absolutely. You want to stand in for it? We'll pray. We ladies want to gather around behind Gail. We'll pray for Diane. And then, gentlemen, if y'all want to gather in behind me, we'll be just fine. We'll close the service out praying for Diane. She needs our prayers. By the way, it would be great. Folks in church would go by and visit her. I know she's probably longing for visitors. Our dear and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord God, we come to you in prayer. God, I pray Lord, for Sister Diane. Lord, you know exactly what she's going through and what she's battling. God, I pray Lord God that you just touch her, Lord. God, I pray Lord that you touch her body. But God, you've done it so many times before, Lord. And what a wonderful testimony, Lord, she has, Lord what you've done in her life. And God, I know that you're able, Lord, still to touch her and strengthen her and help her. God, I pray, Lord, that you just uh, just be with her, Lord, and your mighty hands be upon her, God. And I pray, Lord, once again, you demonstrate your strength and your power, Lord, in her and through her. Yes. God, I pray, Lord, that you just intervene in the situation. The doctors, everything that they're saying, Lord, it doesn't look good. It's, it's dark on both sides of whatever decision is made. But God, I know you're the light. And God, we know that you're able. God, we know that you can. So, Lord, we're asking you, Lord, trusting and believing, Lord, that you're going to do a work in her life one more time. God, I pray, Lord, you touch her, please. Bless her, have your will in your way. God, I pray for our church family. God, I pray, Lord, you help us, Lord, to be there for one another, to have unity in the church, God. And I pray, Lord, we serve together. And, God, I pray we love one another and love you and lift you up so the world can see you and be drawn unto you so they can hear the gospel and put their faith and their trust in it and be saved before it's eternally too late. Touch Sister Diane. Touch our entire church family. God, have you will in your way, Lord, please. Lord, we love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless y'all. Thank y'all. See y'all this evening at 6 o'clock. Fire practice at 4 30. I can feel my shoulder going this way. I'm like, no.
Yeah, yeah. 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 I think they still have the same range. 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 They still have the same range.